scores of marginalized and less fortunate households on St. Lucia have begun benefiting from close to U.S. $100,000 in items donated from the Taiwanese Embassy to the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment. The handover ceremony, which took place on January 26, 2023, at the Grosely Human Resource Development Center, included shoes, toys, speakers, face masks, and sanitary wipes, among others. In expressing gratitude on receiving the donation, Deputy Permanent Secretary Irene Gasper said the special effects items, which will be distributed to needy families by the Community Services Unit of the Ministry, will help improve the living conditions of indigent households across the island. This official handing over of a number of special effects items donated by Simply Help Foundation through the government of Taiwan is not the first and happy to say not the last. From the year 2015, the Simply Help Foundation commenced its generous act to the Solution people through the government of Taiwan and the Embassy of Taiwan to St. Lucia. Every year since then, the Ministry of Equity is pleased to be in receipt of a 40-foot container of various special effects items for use by our people. Taiwanese Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Peter Shen, said his government was again delighted to play a lead role in helping to change lives for the better here on St. Lucia. As Honorable Prime Minister Fidi Jepier mentioned, St. Lucia is now recovering from the pandemic, and Taiwan government is here to extend our utmost support to the economic stability of St. Lucia. Therefore, among these 850 boxes of donation, there are not only anti-pandemic necessities, but also nursery bags, children t-shirts, walking shoes, toys, clothes, etc. And now Taiwan is still in the Lunar New Year period. So this is definitely a New Year gift. Seizing every opportunity to collaborate and work with other sectors, donors, funding agencies and governments in meeting its mandate of poverty alleviation, Equity Minister Honorable Joachim Henry said it was with ease that his ministry collaborated with Taiwanese officials. The handover ceremony, he said, spoke volumes in deepening faith in the notion that life can be made easier with the intervention of others. We are not a very rich country. In fact, we are considered to be one of a poor country. So that the government takes care of the school, the government takes care of our hospitals, we have to pay our teachers. We don't give them a lot of money, but they are happy to serve. Right, teachers? I heard them say, yes, that's right. And the nurses and the doctors and the police officers and the firemen. And we build a school so that you could go to school. But that's not enough for you to survive. You need food, but you also need to be happy. So what we do sometimes, it is not enough for my money to give the, my kids everything that they need. And mom is not able to give you everything that you would want. And therefore, friends come by to help us, to serve us as we serve you. The Ministry's Social Transformation Officers have already commenced distribution of the items to vulnerable households island-wide.